now the third part we are having that is separated you can see over here this is the separated now separated is basically used you can see here this mesh is basically a separator it is used to separate two electrodes because electrodes positive negative electrode these are placed very near to each other so that the size of the battery should be compact okay that's why these are to be placed very near to each other but if they will come close to each other or by chance if they get connected then there will be a case of short circuit to avoid that this separator is placed now one more thing is required that there should be a flow of electrolyte between the electrodes now if we place a thick means cover or separator between these two electrodes then electrolyte will not move that's why these pores are provided in this you can see these pores are there these with the help of these pores the electro electrolyte is easy to move between the electrodes again this separator is made up of some insulating material fourth we are having electrolyte now in the case of lead acid battery we are using electrolyte that is h2so4 sulfuric acid okay battery cover okay the cover that we place over the battery that is basically a battery cover it is again a insulating material and it covers so that it covers the battery so that the foreign agent should not come inside okay because it will now if anything comes inside the battery it will create a problem in the proper working of battery battery cover is done vent caps vent caps are basically these are the vents you can see you can remove these or these are the covers actually these are the uh, screw type uh, cap is there okay which is placed over it now with the help of this vent caps you can pour the electrolyte you can pour water inside it and also when you open it the hydrogen which is formed inside during the reaction that will come out that's why it is named as vent cap vent means ventilation because it because of with the help of this ventilation may, may be possible <coughs> intercell connector now when we connect the battery in series and parallel we have to connect the cells because single single cell is there so to connect that this intercell connector is required okay and this is again a conducting material so last we are having cell terminal so there are basically two terminals one is positive and one is negative terminal okay this is positive terminal and this one is negative terminal the material which is used to make these two terminals that is again a lead okay it should be of same material the electrodes which are used to make I mean, the, the material which is used to make a electrode the same material we can use for the making this terminals so this is the construction part of the battery